Hello, hello you people out there in YouTube land, how do you do? Yes, we're heading up ahead, over there. And this place should be familiar to you, because this is a good place, a popular place, a place people come to when they're hungry for lunch, when they're in the central business district area of Singapore. This is Amoy Street Food Center, a two-story food center with more than 130 stores selling delicious hawker food, street food, delicious, delicious Singapore food, where your tummy will be satisfied if you come here. And we're going to this store here called Yuan Chun Famous Lomi. This store here has been around at this food center almost since they started and it's still around and we're going to have their yeah, mee. these are the prices and here is the noodle this is mee. I ordered the medium portion which cost me five dollars as you can see you have a very interesting dark thick gravy underneath noodles with lots and lots of different types of ingredients on top some crispy some meaty some deep, deep fried some braised ingredients and then you put in cut chili you put in garlic and you also put in vinegar the vinegar adds the extra oomph to this dish so this is it this is what i'm going to have and we're gonna eat this dish soon. So earlier, uh, after I got this dish, I actually poured in some vinegar. You can still see a bit of the vinegar, which is the black vinegar at the side of the bowl. But look at this, this is yellow, flat yellow noodles, flat thick yellow noodles. And this dish goes well with these noodles. And then you also have a lot of ingredients in there. You can see some deep fried nuggets there. This uh, meatball. And then the braised pork belly. And various other items inside there. And then the broth. And then look at all this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yep. Lots and lots of different types of ingredients on top there. All drench all soaked all absorbing that delicious delicious braising stock or they call it law so are you ready to rumble rumble in the brown swamp of delicious delicious law me broth oh look at that it's still hot steam coming up from the noodles noodles cooked Ooh. and then first thing you do is of course mix it up nicely so that you make sure that all the delicious broth, all the different flavors, all the different ingredients are mixed in well together and coats every single morsel of food there. And of course, let's have some noodles. The first bite. And the broth. I must say, the broth is good. It has a very interesting, more, a lot of different things going on in the broth. Different types of fragrances and flavors. But it is not extremely strong or powerful. And the noodles, for my preference, maybe other people may like it. But I thought the noodles is a bit uh, soft, a bit too soft, a bit just slightly only overcooked but some people like it this way uh, for me I prefer it uh, slightly firmer but I must say the braising sauce doesn't penetrate well into the noodles making the noodles a bit bland but this is a big part here the part that a lot of people like is the interesting broth just flavor the ingredients on top of the noodles very very well it's like somehow they created the broth 
with the intention of you know, flavoring the ingredients. Whereas the noodles, you know, it goes really very well with the ingredients. Just that the noodles are a bit not as flavorful as I like it to be. Normally, the broth will be thicker, gooier, uh, more sticky. That's what I prefer. And more intense in flavor. Here, much, much lighter than The broth is nice. It has a nicer prominent uh, spice powder taste. A bit watery, not very starchy. Noodles, unfortunately, overcooked. And did I mention that this food center was built in 1983? And one year later, this place, Yuan Chuan Lomi actually set up a store here. And originally, they actually had two stores. But unfortunately, now they only have one store left. But still, cooking the same Lomi at this place. So, if you do like uh, Lomi, here I must say they do a good job. With the Raising sauce is good, just that it's not my favorite. And as per usual, you know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe. I got Patreon, I also got PayPal. Support me on those. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure, my next food adventure. I will see you guys around. Bye-bye.